My name is Stephen and this is my channel, Hearts Delight Exports. Hello and welcome back to the shop. I'm down here again and today I'm carving up a piece of driftwood. I want to turn it into a pitchfork handle. I carved one last year and I was rather proud of it. I thought it turned out really well. Used mostly a flat disc on an angle grinder and just it just sanded the wood away. I'm not doing it that way this time. This time I'm using a draw knife which looks like this and I'm very carefully carving the driftwood in the into the shape and look that I want. So it's starting out looking like this should hopefully end up looking more like this up or down there we go. so I have my voice set up it's the wrong voice for this kind of job but it's the only voice that I have so making it work <laughs> making what I have work for what I uh, what I need to do so right now I'm going to take the draw knife and start trying to trim off some of the uh, weather worn outer surface. That's why it's the wrong voice. piece of wood riding on my hip to keep it from vibrating so much. Hopefully it'll keep it from popping out of the vise quite so easy. Not much left of the old patina now. Okay, so that's it right now for carving carving out my piece of driftwood. I think that's fairly good. But what I want to do next is to cut it down to a more comfortable height. Now what I need to do is to carve off just a small piece. It's a little ovaled out on the on the side of the handle here. And after that, I got to cut the pipe. Now we need to get a hole made in the handle for the tang. So this is seated the tang as tight as it's going to go. It's already starting to open up splinters and cracks. I'm not sure how well this one's going to last, but all we can do is try, right?
one of the reasons I chose this particular fork, nice and sharp. Of course, it doesn't hurt that the last time I put a handle on this one, I uh, I spent a little bit of time and cleaned up the, the tines a little bit. Every little advantage helps, although they're far from even, are they, aren't they? Yeah, it's the way it came into my possession anyway. It's third, fourth, fifth hand, who knows. But the important thing is that the metal is still solid and it's still relatively sharp. Okay, so I'm going to end it here. I know I've asked a couple of people what do they think the uh, the handle would look like with a bit of spray lacquer or polyurethane, something like that on it. Uh, would soaking up in the salt water do anything for it? Would it help it out at all? I honestly don't know. I don't know if I want to actually put any stain on it at this point. Maybe in the future I'll... Uh, I'll be able to answer that question. I'm pretty sure this is spruce, which means it should be fairly solid. Fairly. It's a pitchfork handle, and I'm going to go and leave it outside for quite a while after this. So we'll have to, have to see how long it lasts. Okay, so this is me signing off saying be safe. If you're unsure or hesitant with any of your tools, maybe you should stop and take a minute and think about why you're hesitant or unsure of that tool could save your life or fingers and you know we can all use as many of those as we can get fingers I mean okay so if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh, you got a question or comment or an opinion on what the salt water would have done to the wood if it's going to make it better or worse you know, you can always leave that in the comment box too. It would be an interesting debate a bit. Be an interesting debate. And, uh, you know, if you want to see what I'm up to on, uh, on any given day, you can always subscribe. Hit that little bell and ask YouTube to, to notify you when I put up a new video. Okay, so this is me signing off. You have a good day. And uh, get out in the garden.